Greetings everyone, you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ngozi. Today is your first time of coming across this channel. I welcome you. But if you have been coming, the old subscribers, my old supporters, I welcome you and I tell you I am grateful. Thank you so much for always coming to support your sister. So in today's video, so I discovered this place where they sell uh, okra in baskets and uh, cocoa yam. Mm -mm. Apple, <laughs> where they sell apple in bulk. <laughs> Cassava, yes. So I I discovered where they are selling uh, apple. These things you are seeing like this is a uh, is cassava, mm -hmm. processed cassava. Okay. Apple where you can buy it. This place is um, OC. Mm -hmm. At the back of the place, I bought rice. Yes, if you haven't seen that video, please go back. Go back because the video you will see immediately after this one. Abby, the video, the last video I made is about where um, to buy rice at the cheapest rate. So this place is still the same area but at the back of the place i bought rice this place is actually at the bank of um, river niger okay you are going to see it clearly so i made i took my time to cover this these things the tied you are seeing is a uh, just cassava processed cassava ready for the buyers okay so um i came across this place while looking for another place i keep saying this ambra onisha to be precise you can never go half of onisha no matter how much you think you have known onisha Anambra states you will keep discovering discovering every day when i had conversation with people selling around this place almost all of them are from Benue states hmm? Benue states i remember the, time, the day i was uh, buying rice all the people there were from Benue. even the ones you think that is Igbo, maybe the ones that have known how to speak Igbo very well there was a confusion that started up, started up uh, in that area and the only one Igbo woman there among them she was like is it because i don't have any any sister here is it because i don't have any brother here i was like what what uh, what exactly is she talking is she talking about are we not in our in our homeland in Igbo, Igbo land what is she talking about that was when i discovered that even the one that was coming her down the one that the one that got her upset and the one that is coming coming her down both of them are from uh, benue and the woman that i bought from is also from from uh, from benue and that woman was the only Igbo in that area can you imagine so every day you keep discovering like i should now just uh, rephrase it and call it like the market for benue state indigenous markets is that does it make sense okay so i'm saying it's so vast business everywhere for everybody i i would say that Onisha is just home for all now let us talk about the view okay let us talk about the view okay sorry i could not capture it very well and um i was uh i i can't even tell what i was thinking that made me not to capture all these things the way i wanted to but yeah i tried let us manage it like this but what i want to bring out in this video is that all these things you are seeing that people are selling near the river are the things that are brought in through this uh, river. There is something about Anambra State that nobody seems to be talking about it. Anambra is surrounded by, by water, rivers. Okay, apart from River Niger. There are lots of rivers that I don't know. I don't know the name, but there's one time I went to was it at Liri? I saw this clean, pure, beautiful river, huge river like that too. I was stunned. 
so because of this Ambra people do not like food okay food are mostly very expensive in other states but not in Onisha because there are so many there are so many routes there are so many means of uh, bringing in uh, food into Onisha Onisha to be precise people in Onisha are not hungry at all aside a business opportunity that you can use to hold body when you want to buy things food you have you have it at your back and call okay number is blessed on shall to be precise okay okay let it sink down into your ears i went to buy another thing but the type of beautiful okra in this area i couldn't resist it, resist it. and as i am making this video the okra is still in my fridge i have not even prepared it the how beautiful the okra was i couldn't remove my eyes from it the temptation caught me in and i bought it after buying it i regretted it but anyway yeah, i still in my fridge any anytime i have the strength i'll i'll cook it well so with that being said i've come to the end of this video the next video you are going to see is how they are bringing in rice okay i'm going to show you guys that ah yes i tried i made a lot of videos how they are bringing in rice into onisha into this uh, place okay how they do it and uh, things like that so i have come to the end of this video please have you thumbs up the video mm? is this video not interested interesting to you is it not I know it is it is very interesting okay i know you like it i know you like how clean and clear the video is so oh yeah thumbs up the video thumbs up the video right now if you have not subscribed please subscribe for those of you that's that comes in once in a while peep into my channel watch my video uh, get yourself uh, some knowledge and uh, you just uh, go just like that without subscribing I am encouraging you to please subscribe okay subscribe to my channel you will not regret it things will keep getting better information informations will be shared okay so thank you for watching see you in the next one see me bargaining with this mama eh? I, I as i saw the um the okra i even thought that since uh, they are still there at the bank of the river that the okra will still be will be very cheap but i was wrong the mama did not grieve for me she refused to grieve for me someone told me that if i want to buy something at a very cheap um, price i should come very early when the the women the village women are coming in through the boat, I believe we are the boat now where village women are coming in. That once they come in, that I will get anything I want at a very cheap rate. Because this mama that is selling to me actually bought from people. She bought all but a minute now. She bought something and she's ready to take it to her shop to go and sell. So that's why it was a little bit expensive. Not that expensive, but it was um, costly than I thought. So so that is it oh this thing you see these people carrying is right so don't worry in the next video i will show you guys how it is done in the meantime thank you for watching remain blessed may the hunger in nigeria not reach your side in jesus name amen bye bye